short time ago I came across this stunning bronze bell that had been laying in a garden for quite some time. I'm told that when the bell was placed in the garden, the Latin writing at the top of the bell wasn't visible to the naked eye and that the action of the wind and rain was to slowly wash the dirt away to reveal the script beneath. It's interesting to note that the bell has a date cast into it reading MDLXXV11. That gives us 1577. However, this only adds to the mystery because bells of this date are normally more like the church bells that we see today. This bell itself lends itself to the profile of bells that you'd expect to see in the 12th to 14th centuries. What's even more unusual is that this bell carries the image of an icon known as the Extreme Humility and symbolises the Christian doctrine of the Incarnation. But this bell carries a Latin inscription attributed to St Agatha of Catania, or as we know it today, Sicily. Now I'm no expert in written Latin, but I have been able to translate the writing on this bell, and it reads as follows. Mentum, sanctum, spontaneum, honorum dio et patri, liberatiem. This translates to holy mind, spontaneous honour to God, and liberation of the fatherland. Now I know for a fact this bell resided in a church in London in 1893 when the doors were first opened. However, by the year of 1926, the church was sold to become a Bible study group before later on being turned into a boutique hotel. Well, the first job in the conservation of this bell is nothing more than a light clean, just using mild soapy water, a toothbrush and a sponge to remove the dust and the dirt. The intention here is not to try and restore the bell, but to simply protect what we have and to clean it lightly. The rich patina of the bell should be preserved at all costs, having taken very many years to develop. Conserving the bell involves no chemical agents or the use of any abrasives whatsoever. A soft brush can be used to tease out any stubborn pieces of dirt or soil that may have adhered to the surface. The use of jewellers magnifying glasses helps to see in much closer detail any hidden details or indeed markings that may be on the surface. While well, many of you have asked me questions, especially does the bell still ring and does it still have its original clapper? Well the answer to those questions is yes and the bell certainly does still ring. In my next feature we'll be taking a closer look at the history of the bell and I'll be revealing some interesting facts that I've already uncovered. <laughs>